Hi, and welcome back everyone to Just Because. My name's Taro Booth, and it's my mission to bring you a simplified, practical approach to beekeeping. So today, I um, thought I'd show you um, the equipment that I use for grafting and queen rearing in general. I've had quite a few questions about it, people asking you know, what this item was, what that item was, so I thought I'd just give you a whole rundown real quick here. Um, first of all, my little stand, I can use that in the in a vehicle or I can use it here at a table, either way. Uh, it just hang right on the steering wheel in, in the vehicle. And then it's got these little legs that are adjustable every which way. And all it is, is a laptop desk. They're about geez, 16, 17 dollars um, online here and there. And they just hold that frame just perfectly. And of course we've got our cell bar. I use a, a single bar all at the top. Um, there's some uh, logic behind that that uh, learned this from a, a beekeeper back east that uh, uh, loves it. And I'll tell you the results, this year's the first year I've used it with them all on one bar at the very top of the, the colony. Uh, my results are phenomenal compared to last year, so very, very happy with it. Um, and they are the Nikot, uh, these, these cell cups and the bases and whatnot, they're, they're from the Nikot, uh, or, or Nico, depending on how you pronounce it, system. Um, and I like them. I, I also have some JZBZs that I can use as well, but I just have so many of these from when I was using the Nikot system that uh, I just have got comfortable with them and I use them. Um, these, you've seen me use the feathers, they, they just work great for uh, brushing bees off and not making them angry with you. Uh, when it comes to grafting, a good flashlight, uh, it's just handy. You, you really want it if, if you, it, it's just a good thing for, for grafting. Here's some grafting tools. Now, these bottom two here, are the two that I use right now and have used for years. I just ordered these two in this year and have not even tried them yet. So I will probably do a follow-up video testing those two and letting you know my thoughts on them and, and if I like them or not. This is just kind of my kit that I keep uh, everything in. And then my handy uh, reading glasses, very, very important. One of the things I didn't put out here is a um, a dish towel. You just keep a nice wet dish towel so as you're moving across the bar putting the cells in you just kind of keep it over to cover them. I don't know if it's necessary. Uh, I use it and it's great. So and this little guy here is just a foam board insulation. It's a inch, uh, I think it's a two inch. Two inch foam, foam board or it might be inch and, inch and seven eighths or inch and three quarters. It doesn't really matter. But I've just drilled holes in them so that those cells, when I pull them off the cell bar when they're capped, they just slide right in there. You should have seen the video, my most recent video um, depicts that. And let's see, I think that is pretty much all I use for it. It's pretty simple, not, not a lot of headache. And you don't need all this stuff. You don't need a stand. Honestly, you don't need a stand. You can put it right on your lap if you're sitting in your vehicle or sitting outside or sitting at your kitchen table. You can. You can prop it up with something else. It's, it's not necessary, but this is pretty reasonably priced, and so I jumped on it and grabbed it. Um, you don't have to you don't have to use a cell bar like this, especially if you're not doing a lot of cells. If you need 10 or 12 cells, just use a single bar. It, it's not uh, it's not that tough. Here, if, if you don't have an incubator, you don't even need this thing. If if, if you're gonna just uh, do 10 or 12 cells. Just leave them in the uh, starter finisher, the cell builder, and let them uh, finish them out. You, if you use this, uh, sorry, if you use the the, Ni the Nikot or Nico uh, cups, then you use those little hair roller cages that go over them. You can cage all of them up once they're capped, and they'll just hatch right inside the 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 builder. Or two or three days before they're gonna hatch, just go install them in your. Um, in your splits that you're doing and you don't even need the incubator. 
Uh, it's just for convenience, more when you're doing a high number of splits. So, boy, if you have any questions, uh, please put them down in the comments. If you like it, please hit that, that uh, like button. And if you're catching us in the middle of this series, boy, be sure to go back to the beginning and, and follow along so you kind of keep up and, and understand some of the thought process behind all of this. So stick around. We're going to do some grafting here in a little while today. We'll do our second round and uh, was going to do it here at the kitchen table, but I think because we're still having some real weather issues, I think we may do it uh, in the vehicle again right over at the place that I'm going to be pulling cells from. So just make it a little easier and get them right in the cell builder. Stay tuned. Thanks for watching Just Because. Hey there, one quick follow-up before I close out of here. If if any of you would like uh, links to where you can buy the, the stand here, um, any of the, the grafting tools, uh, any of that, dimensions on, on stuff like this, uh, Put it in the comments. I'll put, uh, if, if I get enough response on it, I'll put some links on my Triple B Farms Facebook page and the Practical Beekeeping Facebook group uh, where you can go uh, click on them and go right straight to, to where I purchased these items. So, uh, and then one last thing that's kind of important in terms of, of grafting and queen rearing in general, you want a good grafting calendar just to kind of keep you on pace and, and especially if you're new so that you know what stage everything's in and what you should be doing. Again, if you'd like uh, that, uh, some links to some uh, calendars, I'd be happy to put those in um, on my page and on the Facebook group as well. All right, well, hey, uh, be sure to hit that subscribe button and, and don't forget to click that bell notification icon so you won't miss a thing. Thanks again. Have a great day.